Hi, what's up? My name is Liz and you're watching for Booking Out Loud. November is finally here and that means Native American Heritage Month. Due to it being Native American Heritage Month, Brody from A2 Brody and Michelle from Thor Wants Another Letter have introduced the Indigathon Readathon. I'll link their channels below if you want to check them out. They're awesome. But they have introduced this readathon to help people diversify their reading and really encourage others to go out and search for books about and written by Native American authors. So without further ado, here is the bingo card they have made for this year. And it is amazing. Really, they want you to at least get a bingo where you get three either up to the side or diagonal. I am going to attempt to get all nine cards because I just love all the prompts. But honestly, it's November. I really encourage you if you can to just pick up a book by a Native American author or about Native American history. It's important to diversify your reading and just really get out there and find a story that you don't know too much about. But without further ado, here is my TBR for this readathon. So the first one is intersectionality. And intersectionality means that your identity isn't just one thing. It can be affected by more than one minority group you might be a part of. For example, you might be a female and black. You're not just identified as black. Maybe you're part of the LGBT community and you're also another minority group, maybe Native American. And that's kind of a slide into the book that I picked, which is called This Town Sleeps by Dennis E. Staples. And this book fits this prompt because it's not only about a Native American and a Native American author, but also it has an LGBTQ theme within it. This book is a mystery thriller with a little side of romance, and it truly has a sense of what belonging means in a small town rural America. In small town rural America, where being gay isn't truly accepted, at least where this book is written. There's a murder at a school and the detective has to solve it while also struggling with his identity. Truly, I'm excited to read this book. It's something I am finding that I truly enjoy this genre. I love a good mystery and I'm hoping that I'm going to enjoy this one. The second prompt is new to you. And honestly, all, all of these books are new to me, whether it's the author or the book itself. But at its base, I'm choosing Black Sun by Rebecca Roanhorse. She is a phenomenal fantasy writer, and she has just come out with a new book. This one, Black Sun. And I just really want to pick it up and read it and experience Rebecca Roan Horse. I have heard amazing things about it. It is set in pre-colonial times, and it has this phenomenal fantasy concept about it and honestly that's all I truly know it sounds very complex and very well thought out and I just want to pick it up because I love a good fantasy it's supposed to be the first in a series so I'm really hoping that I like it and that I can continue the series as well the third prompt is other than 5CT or the five civilized tribes, which are Cherokee, Chata, Chickasaw Creek, and Seminole. 
and I am choosing The Night Watchman by Louis Erdwich. I don't think I'm saying his last name right, so I apologize. But the book is based on the Turtle Mountain Reservation in rural North Dakota in the Chippewa Nation. So it's not part of the five civilized tribes. It's actually based on the author's grandfather's life, being a night watchman of a school on the reservation. And apparently he was a very strong leader on this reservation and in the Chippewa Nation. So it really explores his life and the things that he went through. I don't believe it is non fiction because it's based on the grandfather's life, but I will get back to you on that. Now the fourth prompt is a middle grade and I ended up choosing How I Became a Ghost by Tim Tingle and it's told in the voice of a boy, Isaac, as he travels through the Trail of Tears and dies. So the Trail of Tears is a really horrific event in the United States history where multiple tribes were forced off their native land to another part, hundreds of miles away, and a majority of them died taking that long route. And this book is a middle grade about that event. I'm really curious to see how this author, Tim Tingle, handles this event as a middle grade and with this magical realism aspect, it sounds like. And also just to introduce the Trail of Tears to a younger audience when many people in American schooling sometimes don't even hear about it. So that's why I wanted to pick it up. Now, the next space is a free space. So the hosts say you can either read a book or choose to just cross it out. And I'm going to try to read a book. I'm really having my eyes on Crooked Hallelujah by Kelly Jo Ford. It's a historical contemporary novel of multiple generations of Cherokee women. It sounds amazing. I believe it just came out this year, so I'm hoping I'll be able to get my hands on it through my library, but we'll see. And if that doesn't work out, I really want to read Mind Spread Open by, oh, sorry, Mind Spread Open on the Ground by Alicia Elliott. And this is a nonfiction. The idea is that Mind spread open on the ground is a traditional term for depression. And she looks at the fact of what the United States has done to Native Americans and the trauma that it has caused generations and how mentally it has affected them across the nation. So I, I love a good nonfiction. It's also nonfiction November. So if I could get my hands on that, I really want to as well. The next prompt is a buddy read. And it just so happens that a good booktube friend of mine and I really want to read Mongrels by Stephen Graham Jones. So Amy from A Star Reads and I plan to read about a hundred pages or so for the first three weeks in the month of November and talk about it. So I'm really excited. I love Amy. She has wonderful views on books and we both really enjoy nonfiction books. So I will link her channel down below too if you want to check her out. I highly recommend it. But Mongrels is about a coming of age story. It's a boy who grows up with his aunt and uncle and his family for generations have been werewolves or some type of shapeshifter 
and they travel around the United States avoiding something. And he's about to come into the age of where they find out if he is also this werewolf or this shapeshifter. And he has to decide if he wants to live like he has for the rest of his life or if he wants to split apart from his family. So it sounds like this wonderful coming of age story by Stephen Graham Jones, who is a phenomenal author. Now the next prompt is other than the United States. So an author that a Native American author outside of the United States. And I am choosing to read Empire of the Wild by Cherry Damalian. Again, I'm not saying that name right and I apologize. But it takes place in the Metis community, which is on the border of the United States and Canada. And this community lives on the Canadian side. And it's another murder mystery thriller type of book. And it's also based on a Metis fable or mythology. Specifically like this, supposedly this werewolf-like creature that haunts the native community, their roads, their houses. I don't know. It sounds amazing. And like I said, I've been getting really into this drama, this genre, so really excited. Now, the eighth prompt is the book group book, which is Heartbeat Braves by Pamela Sanderson. It's a romance novel that sounds absolutely amazing. It looks like it is a first in a series of really cute romance novels. And so I'm excited to expand my romance knowledge and collection. I mean, it's not a collection, but romance knowledge of books and excited for a cute read, honestly. Now the very last prompt is non-bookish media. And I really want to read, not read, I really want to watch Blackstone. There's a free link I found below. It is about, well, first of all, it's created, written, directed, and produced by Ron E. Scott, who is Matisse as well from Canada. And it's all about this community, the drama, the hardships they have. And again, that's all I really know. I'm excited to get into it and watch it. Again, I found a free link that I'll give you down below if you wanna at least check it out. I'm really excited for this readathon. I think part of the reason I'm truly excited is to participate. You had to do a whole bunch of research to fit these prompts and to truly understand what they mean. And I think it's going to be well worth the effort because of it. But it's going to be a wonderful reading month. November is going to be amazing. And I hope you guys are going to have a great reading month too. Please let me know down below if you are participating in any readathons, especially if it's in Digathon, and what books you're reading. Have a wonderful day. Bye. This book is a mystery thrill, a mystery thriller. Alicia. Alicia Elliot, Elliot, Mind Spread Open on the Ground by Alicia Elliot, Elliot, 